So, uh, welcome back to this lecture on microcontroller and its application. Uh, today we will be learning about the instruction set of PIC microcontrollers. So, uh, we have studied already the instruction set and the programming principles in, PIC in uh, 8051 microcontroller um, in the last few days. Uh, the PIC microcontroller uh, instruction set and the programming principles are quite different compared to your uh, Intel based 8051 microcontroller. Now let's see how different it is. So whenever you have to execute a byte oriented instruction, we can classify it into byte oriented and bit oriented instructions. Now whenever you have to execute a byte oriented instruction in a big microcontroller, you have to have two parameters and those two parameters are this f that is uh, small f as you can see over here and this capital f for example if you take an instruction x o r w f f comma f capital f or w the f is actually a notation for any special purpose register like timer like quotes so these registers or temporary registers or RAM variables have to be used. Now F or W is actually a notation. The next F or the capital F or W is actually a notation. Whenever you have a notation as F, it means the destination is the source register. Now the source register in an instruction like this, it will be a special purpose register like port or any temporary register but the destination register whenever you have notifications such as w is a working register so that is the difference between the uh, uh, f and w notification so whenever an instruction has an f in its operand you should understand the capital f what i means is understand that destination is the source register itself but whenever it has W as the operand, the destination is the working register. That means at the end of the arithmetic or logic operation or any mathematical operation, the destination, the value is stored in either in working register or in the source register itself. It depends upon what notification we are giving at the end of the uh, instruction. In a bit oriented instruction, as you can see now, uh, it also expects two parameters, and the two parameters can be notified as F or B. Uh, now f is to be replaced by any special purpose register as we saw initially uh, and b is actually a bit a value of a bit uh, and it can range from anywhere from 0 to 7 so uh, if you want to access the 7 bit in a port you can write btfss f can be a port and b can be the 7 or 0 or 7 just a value 7 now that is how you access a bit oriented instruction you should remember that every instruction fits in a single 14 bit word in a big micro controller this was basically made or it was constrained in 14 bit words so that you can leverage the use of pipelining concept so these are the basic things about the instruction set. Some guidelines you should know, uh, which is laid out by microchip technology. Write the instructions or the mnemonic in lower case. Mnemonics are like for add, to subtract, to XOR, or to do any arithmetic logic instructions. Use a mnemonic with lower case. Uh, and write the special register names like a port, a timer, or status bits. All these things are special purpose registers. You should always notify them in all caps. Write the instructions for a particular program line, or if you want to write a label for a subroutine, you can write in a mixed uh, case that is a capital and small letter. This is basic instruction or guidelines you should notify. Now, so in instruction set, as we said, there are only 35 instructions in your big microcontroller. Some of the instructions are notified here and they are very easy to understand. I'll tell you how to understand it. For example, this is a mnemonic for an instruction. 
that is called PCF and the operands that are F or B as we know F denotes any special purpose register and B denotes a bit that ranges from 0 to 7. BCF instruction says clear bit B of register F where B is equal to 0 to 7. Now this instruction is nothing but bit clear, clear a specific bit and BSF you can already guess it is bit set. So this for bit clear, this is for bit set. Bit clear which bit bit of a special purpose register or a RAM variable and similarly bit set bit set of a special purpose register or a RAM variable. BSF is used to so set the bit of B B of a register F. Similarly, you have instruction for clear. Clear W or CLRW is to clear the working register. Clear F is to clear a specific special purpose register. Move LW as you can see over here is to move a literal value that is denoted as K as the operand. This literal value can be moved to the working register. Move WF will move the value of the working register to a special purpose register F. And you have another instruction move F which moves the value of F to a special purpose register F or working register W. Now this is this may sound a tricky here. You are moving the content of F either F or W. Whenever you have notification F, that means you move the content to a special purpose register itself or you move that content to a working register if it is preceded by W. Now, for each instruction, as you can see, cycles required is 1. And for each instruction, we are also notifying if any flag registers are affected or flag registers or status space are affected. Here, 0 bit is the only that may be affected okay so swap is an instruction where you swap the nibbles of of a special purpose register and you can put the result in that same destination register source register or you can put the result in a working register now incf is nothing but to increment the content of a special purpose register you can increment it and put it in the same register or you can put it in a working register Similarly, you have decrement and complement operations. Then you have some logical operations such as AND, OR, and XOR. And again, in which you can uh, put the literal value into a working register or you can put the literal value into a source register. Now, see over here, all the uh, AND, OR, and XOR instruction does affect your flags or bit, zero bit of your status register. Some other instructions such as add, add and subtract also have the same notification. You can add the content of add wf means you can add the content of uh, working register w and your special purpose register, register and you can put the value either in f. f means the same source register or w. w means the result can be put in working register. Now in other microcontrollers we would have seen that whenever there was an arithmetic operation the result was stored in accumulator. It is not so in PIC microcontroller you can store the result directly in a specific source register or a special purpose register or a RAM variable or you can store the value in a working register. Working register is metamorphical to uh, your accumulator and then you have rotate instructions. Uh, you have R and F that is rotate left and you have R R F that is rotate right uh, which will of course as you know both of these instructions rotate through the carry bit uh, you had R R C or R O C in H0 for a microcontroller which is this is quite, quite equivalent to it now what is mean by F and F comma F W you are already aware of that rotate the content of a special purpose register or a RAM variable and you can store that value of the rotated instruction in either the working register or a source itself. Similarly, you have PTFSC 
we just test the bit of a register and uh, whether it is zero whether it is set or not set you will skip the instruction if it is cleared now that is bit uh, check whether it is cleared and you skip the instruction now when it is set if you want to skip the instruction you have this uh, instruction called btfss test bit b of a register now b is any value on from 0 to 7 and if it, that is clear skip now the bit level manipulations can be done using these instructions and then you have decrement whenever uh, a specific bit is set or increment f putting result in f or w and skip if it is zero now uh, here you can see that in the bracket you have two that means whenever the instruction is executed that is if it is not skipped but it is executed then you require two cycles but if it is skipped because it is zero then it is requires only one cycle so that is why there are columns and then you have go to call return ret lw that is an ret f l e all these instructions are for branch instructions go to is to be for uh, label instructions call is for call label for subroutine written is for written from subroutine and written from subroutine to putting the return value in w that is for ret and w ret f l e written from interrupt service routine and uh, renewable interrupts now uh, these are different branching instructions available in big microcontroller then you have clear watch dot timer sleep and no operation some other instructions in your uh, big microcontroller yes so these are the basic instructions available in your big microcontroller they are very simple and they are not an exhaustive list there are only 35 instructions now some examples you can see on the screen of these instructions we use for example pcf that is to bit clear and f or the port b is a special purpose i just notified port b is the zeroth bit is actually cleared so we are clear bit zero of port b this instruction means i think clear bit zero of port b bsf you can find out status c set the carry bit that means that means you need to off the special purpose register status you can set the carry bit by using this instruction bsf now remember you can either use a bit value or you can even create a value that is present just c or c uh, clear and so clear w with clear the working register you have some instruction like move wf temp1 which will move the content of w into temporary register temp1 Similarly, you have some increment and decrement operation. These are some examples uh, for you to understand how an instruction is being manipulated within a PIC microcontroller. So please go through it. It is very simple. Let's see some multiple bit manipulation and LW. And LW is um, uh, to force the upper five bits of W to zero. Now this instruction and LWB 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 will force the upper five bits of W to zero. Uh, similarly, and WF the difference is here it was W LW that is a literal value here it is WF. WF means you have to have a special purpose register notified in the operand. Here what it does is temp one is anded with the content of the source the working register and the content is stored in temporary register itself at the same time and wf temp1 and the content of temporary register with w and is stored in working register that is the difference made when f and w is used in your operand as you can see here f means you store the value in temporary register that is your source register itself and when you have the notifications w you store the value in working register and not the temp register so that is the difference that can be done by using f and w in the notification in the same way of your or and xor instructions also
your addition and subtraction as you can see here uh, add lw means you add the content or the literal value to the working register add wf you add the content of a special purpose register to your source to your working register and the source uh, the destination is decided based upon what is your operand if it is f the destination is temp1 itself if it is would have been w the destination would have been working register similarly for subtract instruction then similarly for rotate instructions also as you can see rotate left temp1 that means you are rotating left the content of temp1 and you are going to store the content in temp1 itself if it is w is a notification then you are going to store after rotating right into working register yes so that is what is and then you have your some conditional branch uh, where you will skip the next instruction if bit 0 of temporary register is not set is equal to 0 so, so these are different instruction set so you can classify them uh, single bit manipulation or clear move manipulation or increment decrement or complement instruction or multiple bit manipulation addition subtract instructions or rotate instructions or conditional branch instructions uh, your branching instructions and some other miscellaneous instructions like clear wash or timer sleep and no operation so that is how basically the instruction set of big microcontroller is divided so i believe you have got a good overview about the instruction set as i said it's a very simple instruction set it just says that if i instruction and your big microcontroller apart from this instruction set is also compatible to be programmed using c program so thank you see you in your next lecture